Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in the present video, we will see some question based on resistors in parallel or series. So I am writing the first question here, which is, let me draw the diagram first. So here are two resistance which are connected in parallel okay so here is m meter and there are more three resistance which are connected in parallel so it is r1 r2 r3 r4 and r5 okay and there is one closed switch so student in this question we are given the value of r1 10 ohm r2 40 ohm r3 30 ohm r4 20 ohm and r5 as 60 ohm and the voltage of the battery is 12 volt so we have to find out the total resistance question a part is total resistance of circuit okay second b part is the total current flowing the total current flowing in circuit okay so now comes to the solution part of this okay students so as you can see that r1 and r2 is in parallel so if i check the r1 equivalent of r1 and r2 is 1 by r equivalent is equals to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 so now i can get that 1 by 40 so if i take the 4 plus 1 this is 1 by 8 so r equivalent from here would be 8 ohm so means the equivalent resistance of there would be 8 ohm now as you know that r3 r4 r5 are also in parallel so this is r equivalent 1 let's say r equivalent 2 this is 1 by r3 plus 1 by r4 plus 1 by r5 so it is 1 by 30 plus 1 by 20 plus 1 by 60 so taking 60 as lcm 2 plus 3 plus 1 equal 1 by 10 so r equivalent 2 is 10 ohm so now you can see that the now our structure will look like this r equivalent 1 here is m meter then here r equivalent 2 okay and these two r equivalents are now in series so what I can do here is so I will add R equivalent net is R equivalent 1 plus R equivalent 2. So this is 8 ohm plus 10 ohm would be 18 ohm. So our first answer is completed. The total resistance of the circuit is 18 ohm. And I have to find out the total current flowing through the circuit now. So the total current flowing through the circuit is V is equals to I by R. So we know the value of V, V is equal to I R, sorry, and we know the value of V as 12. So 12 by 18 would be the value of I. So it is coming out to be 2 by 3, or you can say it is 0.66 ampere. Okay, students. So this is the value of the total current flowing through the circuit. So these type of questions, students, might come into exam where you need to use the formula here we have used the formula for parallel resistance two times plus one time series resistance and then we find out the value of total current flowing through the circuits and students if you have still any doubt or any question based on this question which we have discussed in this lecture then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there okay so, and in the next lecture, we will discuss about the heating effect of electric current. 
so stay tuned for the next lecture on heating effect of electric current thank you students happy learning